The final form control we will address is cylindricity. Similar to moving from straightness to flatness, cylindricity is like circularity carried along an additional dimension. The TZ created is not a flat circular cross section, but a cylindrical TZ carried down an entire axis. Another description of the cylindricity TZ is that it is like flatness wrapped into a tube. Using cylindricity instead of circularity would make sure that both of these strange shaped demo pins failed inspection. The wavy pin would have cross sections that were greater and smaller than the cylindrical TZ. There would be no way to adjust a single 0.5 mm TZ to make it accommodate all surface points of the pin. The stacked cylinder pin would also fail, even if all cross sections were round and the same diameter. The TZ created by cylindricity extends down a single axis, so the cross sections of this pin would consistently fall outside of the TZ. As a form control, cylindricity is independent of orientation, size, or location. Keep in mind a tight cylindricity tolerance does not guarantee the correct size of the cylinder, only the shape. We've now discussed all four form callouts. Straightness controls how straight a single line is on a part. It can be applied to surfaces, derived median lines, or axes. Straightness creates a tolerance zone of either two parallel lines or a cylinder for axial straightness. When applied to a three-dimensional part, it applies to every cross-section of the part, but independently of each other, allowing potentially undesired effects, such as waviness. Flatness is straightness across an additional dimension, creating a tolerance zone between two parallel planes. Flatness can be applied to either surfaces or derived median lines. The third symbol was circularity, which creates a TZ of two concentric circles. Similar to straightness, circularity only controls for cross-sections of a part independent of each other. This independence can be useful when measuring the roundness of a cone or uneven shape, but allows for potentially undesired results such as the wavy or segmented pins we looked at. Our fourth form control, cylindricity, addresses these issues and creates a tolerance zone of two concentric cylinders inside which all points of a cylinder surface must lay. Important facts about all form controls is that they are independent of orientation, location, or size. A surface can be especially flat, or a line can be straight, or a circle can be round, or a cylinder very cylindrical, all without being the right size, in the right spot, or at the correct angle compared to other features. For this reason, form controls are never enough to fully define a sketch and are often used to augment or refine other controls. The examples we looked at for this included a table that must have a flat surface, requiring a tight flatness tolerance, even if the overall thickness of the tabletop could have a much looser tolerance. Relatedly, other controls would need to be used to make sure that the flat tabletop was level, the legs were at 90 degree angles to the top, and parallel to each other, and any other size, orientation, and location features were correct. We will now check your understanding of these four controls.